Welcome to today's lesson on understanding the Big Bang Theory and the Steady State Theory. First, we will explore the Big Bang Theory. Next, we will discuss the Steady State Theory. Finally, we will compare both theories to highlight their core differences. So far, you have learned how observations of redshift have led scientists to understand that the universe is expanding. Building on this foundation, we can now delve into the theories that seek to explain why the universe is expanding. This lesson will enhance our understanding of the universe's origin, its possible future, and the fundamental principles of physics that govern its behavior. Let's get started. The Big Bang Theory is one of the primary explanations for the origins and expansion of the universe. This theory emerged from the work of Georges Lemaitre, a Belgian astronomer in the early 20th century. Initially, many scientists were skeptical of this theory. However, over time, as more evidence was gathered, it gained broader acceptance. According to the Big Bang Theory, the universe began approximately 13.8 billion years ago from an incredibly hot, dense point. This singular event, known as the Big Bang, marks the beginning of space, time, and all matter and energy in the universe. Since this moment, the universe has been expanding continuously. To visualize the expansion, imagine the universe as the surface of a balloon. As the balloon inflates, any two points on its surface move farther apart. Similarly, in the universe, galaxies drift away from each other as space itself expands. Importantly, this expansion isn't due to galaxies moving through space. Rather, space itself is stretching, causing the galaxies to recede from one another. The Big Bang Theory provides a cohesive framework for understanding the origin and structure of the universe and is supported by strong evidence, as we will explore in the next lesson. In the 1940s, the steady state theory emerged as an alternative to the Big Bang Theory. Prominent astronomers Fred Hoyle, Hermann Bondi, and Thomas Gold were key proponents of this model. The steady state theory suggests that the universe has always existed and will continue to exist forever in the same form. According to this theory, even though galaxies are moving apart due to the expansion of the universe, new matter is continuously created to fill the space between them. This means that while the universe expands, its overall appearance and density stay the same over time. In contrast to the Big Bang Theory, which suggests the universe had a beginning, the steady state theory proposes that the universe has no beginning or end. It remains constant on a large scale. The idea of matter being continuously created helps explain how the universe can expand without becoming less dense over time. Despite its innovative approach, the steady state theory faced challenges as new evidence began to favor the Big Bang Theory. The primary difference between the Big Bang Theory and the steady state theory lies in their understanding of the universe's history and structure. The Big Bang Theory proposes a finite universe that began from a singular point around 13.8 billion years ago. It emphasizes a dynamic universe that has been expanding and evolving since its inception. On the other hand, the steady state theory suggests an eternal universe with no beginning or end. It maintains that the universe has always been and will continue to be in a steady state, with new matter constantly being created to retain a consistent density. Current evidence leans strongly in favor of the Big Bang Theory, but both theories have played crucial roles in shaping our understanding of the cosmos. In today's lesson, we delved into two key theories explaining the universe's origins and expansion, the Big Bang Theory and the Steady State Theory. We first covered the Big Bang Theory, which posits that the universe began around 13.8 billion years ago from a tiny, hot, dense point and has been expanding ever since. Next, we examined the Steady State Theory, which emerged in the 1940s as an alternative model. This theory suggests that the universe has no beginning or end and remains in a constant state, with new matter continuously created to maintain its density as it expands. Finally, we compared both theories noting that the Big Bang Theory emphasizes a dynamic universe with a clear origin point, while the steady state theory proposes an eternal, unchanging universe. This lesson enhances our understanding of the different perspectives on the universe's history and structure. Watch the rest of the GCSE physics course at Sophos Education 